Hello, we discuss about the screening of amylase producers from soil. Myself, Dr. Pamthani DC from Department of Microbiology, Shri Guru Buddhi Swami College, Purana. Microorganisms are isolated from the various sources as food, milk, air, water, soil and compost. This isolation and characterization of the important or the valuable microorganisms from the various sources by using selective procedures it is called as a screening. The screening it is of two types primary screening and the secondary screening. This primary screening this is the isolation and characterization of the interested microorganisms by using simple procedures it is called as the primary screening and further the study of the microorganisms done in case of the secondary screening. The objective of the present study is to isolate amylase producing bacteria from the soil samples which are provided. The soil samples are collected and the isolation was done by serial dilution and spread plate method. Primary screening of amylolytic activity of the isolate was performed by starch agar plate method. After incubation the zone of clearance around the colony when flooded with iodine solution these are considered as amylase producers. These are subcultured on starch grassland for the further investigation. The starch consists of two components. First it is the amylose and next one it is the amylopectin. Amylose having D glucose units linked with each other by alpha 1 4 linkages. Amylopectin is a branched polysaccharide. In these molecules short chains of glucose units are linked by alpha 1 4 linkages and are joined to each other by alpha 1 6 linkages. These are the amylose and amylopectin components of the starch. In amylose alpha 1 4 linkage it is present while in case of amylopectin both alpha 1 4 and this alpha 1 6 linkages are present. Amylase catalyze the cleavage of glycosidic linkages present in the starch. When amylase react with the starch, it cuts the disaccharide maltose linkages. As the reaction proceeds, the simple sugars that are the glucose units are formed. As the reaction progress, less starch it is present and more sugar this will be produced. This is the starch molecule and here the action of the amylase enzyme it is there and production of the glucose units requirements. Soil sample water bath adjusted at 70 degrees Celsius, sterilized starch agar plates, composition we see that is 100 ml nutrient agar to this 100 ml 1 gram soluble starch it is added. Nutrient agar it is prepared by taking peptone 1 gram, meat extract or the beef extract 0.3 gram, sodium chloride 0.5 gram, distilled water 100 ml, pH is adjusted at 7.4 with the help of 0.1 normal NaOH and 0.1 normal HCl. To this 1 gram soluble starch it is added and this is atoclavel. Next requirement dilute iodine solution. Next 9 ml sterile saline tubes procedure. Firstly add 1 gram soil sample in 100 ml sterile saline in a flask. Keep this flask in water bath adjusted at 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. This heat shock treatment this cause the survival of only thermo tolerant and predominant bacillus species present in the soil while rest of the bacteria these get killed due to this heat treatment. From this prepare the dilutions as 1 is to 10, 1 is to 100, 1 is to 1000, 1 is to 10,000 and last 1 is to 1 lakh by serial dilution technique. Firstly take 1 ml soil suspension which is heat treatment given to 9 ml sterile saline. This is giving 1 is to 10 dilution. From this again transfer 1 ml to 9 ml sterile saline. This is giving 1 is to 100 dilution. Likewise, prepare the dilutions up to 1 is to 1 lakh. From the last dilution, take 0.1 ml 
suspension and spread on sterile tar chagar plate with the help of disinfected spreader incubate the plate at 30 degrees celsius for 24 hours after incubation colonies will appear and after incubation add dilute iodine solution on the plate and observe the zone of clearance or zone of starch hydrolysis around the colonies appeared on the starch agar plate after incubation this is the observation and result that is the organisms which are able to produce amylase enzyme these are showing the zone of clearance around themselves while rest of the agar appears violet in color this the zone of clearance around the colony which are present on the starch agar plate this indicate that the colony it is able to produce the amylase enzyme and cause the hydrolysis of the starch and these are the microorganisms which are isolated from the soil sample which is provided thanks for